beautiful. Don't ask me the impossible. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Joel Little. I'm the Wildlife Officer and currently the Acting Manager here at Little River Earth Sanctuary. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all here today and thank you for all being a part of this exciting event. You're about to witness the brush tailed rock wallaby being given a chance to live in the wild without predation from foxes and cats. I'd also like to thank the donors involved, the Earth Sanctuary's Foundation, Jim Reside and the Brush Child Rock Wallaby Recovery Team and all at Waterfall Springs for being part of the brave repatriation of the species from New Zealand. The Managing Director of Earth Sanctuaries Limited, Prue Geddes, asked me to pass on her apologies for not being able to make it here today and to sincerely thank all the shareholders and volunteers. Their continuing support of Little Weather Earth Sanctuary has made it possible for not only for today's release but for previous reintroductions of Rufus Batong Southern Brown Bandicoot, Long Nosed Potteroo, Red Belly Paddy Melon, Eastern Quail, which have so far had 10 babies this year, and Brush Tailed Fasigal into a safe habitat in Victoria. The Brush Tailed Rock Wallaby has suffered greatly from introduced predators, hunting, habitat destruction, and competition with livestock. Their preference for isolated rocky outcrops has meant that populations are pretty much fragmented and can easily be decimated by disturbance. This was demonstrated rather recently in the January 2003 bushfires that ripped through uh, parts of Gippsland and dramatically reduced the wild population to just five individuals. And this rendered the species critically endangered in Victoria. Thanks to the dedication of the feral eradication team, Little River Earth Sanctuary now provides a safe haven free from introduced predators and competitors. If past successes give us any indication of Earth Sanctuary's potential, these animals will prosper in their new home. In the long term, it is intended that this population will assist the current recovery efforts so that the species will no longer teeter on the brink of extinction. As John Wamsley famously said some years ago, Australia's wildlife don't have any problem with breeding and getting on with life. All they need is a little piece of Australia the way it used to be. Little River is that little piece of Australia. We're giving it to them and I thank you very much for being part of it. Now let's get on with the show.
one for days. <laughs> So each boy will maybe get two girlfriends if he's lucky. Thanks again for coming, folks. It's been a very exciting day. Please stay and have a chat. If you have any further questions, the staff will be mingling around the place, so you can ask us directly if you have any questions in particular about the rock wallabies or anything else going on at Little River Earth Sanctuary. Thanks for coming, folks. Hope you have a good night. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. 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 Thank you.